Hello Pokemon Trainers and welcome to another episode of the Name Raiders here on iSarly TV. And actually, it's another episode of the Community Name Raiders here on iSarly TV. This is where we actually take nicknames from the community, from our subscribers, from our friends, from our, you know, other people that are not us. And we actually critique them like we normally do on the Name Raiders. So, I'm your host Scarecrow. And I'm Dieter. And today we are critiquing a, a good friend of ours, a good person who is subscribed to us and often watches our videos. This is Voltcon. And Voltcon's a very, you know, cool loyal. person, loyal loyal, loyal fan. They they often watch our videos and we appreciate Voltcon's feedback all the time. So thank you Voltcon. Voltcon does not upload videos to his channel, unfortunately. So, you know, if you are even even still, if you like to check him out and maybe leave a comment and say how cool he is, that's that's fine too. But anyways, let's get to the to the names of the video. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. The first of Voltcon's nicknames that we are going to be critiquing is going to be Soul Eater, the Soul Rock. And now this one is you know. Out, looking at the name without knowing anything about it, it's a cool name. You know, Soul Eater sounds pretty intense. And Soul Eater with Soul Rock. You know, they're different types of soul, quote-unquote. But, soul. you know, they still have the same pronunciation. Soul. So, Volcon told us that Soul Eater is named after the anime show. And that's called Soul Eater. And in this anime show, there are two characters of the sun and the moon and those are characters who are as Voltcon explains it sapient beings so that's very interesting I've never seen this anime show but it sounds like a very interesting show and we looked up the image of Soul Eater and the sun in Soul Eater and just like Voltcon says it looks a lot like Soul Rock so you know given that information and given that I you know learned a new thing and also, you know, I actually have a thing for people naming Pokemon after, like, TV shows or animes or, you know, book characters. I like people who name Pokemon after characters from, you know, different mediums. Because I like doing that, too. So, I'm going to give it a Great Ball. It's a good nickname, definitely. And, you know, I wish there were more different options for us to, to rate the nicknames. Because Great Ball may seem really low, but it's not. I mean, it's only one step below an Ultra Ball, and Ultra Ball is very good, so, you know, it's, I think this is a high Great Ball. Low Ultra Ball. Maybe a Safari Ball? This is a, ne a Nest Ball. We're gonna th think of a new rating. This one's gonna be a Nest Ball. Dieter's, here's Dieter with our next nickname. Okay, thank you for that little whatever. <laughs> um, so, the next one of the names he submitted was James. James the Weezing, as a matter of fact. And, of course, you're all Pokemon fans, and you must have watched the anime with when James from Team Rocket had a Weezing. So, obviously, you could see why he nicknamed uh, Weezing James. And it's very simple. Um, you know, they, they, it's... They go together, if you, if you will. Um, and he says that Pokemon was one of his favorite TV shows. So, you know, I'm sure it's all of ours. <laughs> no, I'm sure Great explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winging this. Um, but nonetheless, I think um, it's a good nickname. You know, James Weezing. It's, it's, you know, not too clever or creative because, you know... You can name Weezing anything. So, I would just give it a great ball. I mean, Weezing, you could give it so many nicknames. James is, is fair. And, um, you know, maybe some people just don't see the resemblance to why James and Weezing, you know. That's like naming maybe your star, you Misty, or your Arbok, Jesse. So, there's arguments, but I, I like it otherwise. So, Scarecrow with the last nickname. Alright, so the last nickname from Voltcon that we're going to be critiquing is going to be 
fortress, and its nickname is Knox. Now, as Volkan explains, you know, Fort Knox is the most famous fortress in the world. And, you know, that, that to me is, is very striking. I mean, I've definitely heard of Fort Knox wow. in school. <laughs> most famous fortress in the world. Um, no, my mom is not Fort Knox. Anyway. <laughs> anyways. So, I think this is a great nickname for sure, you know. It has multiple meanings, you know, fortress and fortress sound very, very similar. And not to mention, you know, a fortress is something that's very sturdy, that can defend. And fortress is also very, very notorious for being one of the best physical walls in the game. So, you know, this, this definitely has multiple plays on it. And I think Volkan did a great job in explaining this nickname and also in, you know, giving this nickname. So I'm going to give this one a solid Ultra Ball. Nice. Great job, Voltcon. You know, Knox the Fortress. That's definitely a, a solid nickname. You know, well thought out. And yeah, I enjoyed it. So, Dieter, what do you have to say about Voltcon's nicknames overall? Um, the ones, all the ones he submitted and the ones we rated were very good, um, very creative, and well thought out. So, thank you for submitting them once again. Yes, and as always, if, you, if you're interested in taking part in the Community Name Raiders, please let us know. Please send us a message on Facebook, on YouTube, on Tumblr, or leave a comment on the video. Anything to let us know that you're interested, and then you can send us, you know, anywhere from three to five nicknames from, dif from different Pokemon that you've nicknamed, and we'll critique them for you. Or another way that you can get involved with the Community Name Raiders is if you have us send some nicknames to you and then you record yourself critiquing them just as we do and then send us the audio and we'll upload it to our channel and give you a shout out. So either way, you know, it's a community thing. You get more recognition from our followers and, you know, we all help each other out with our Pokemon nicknames. So, you know, definitely please let us know if you're interested. Thank you very much. I'm Scarecrow. And I'm Dieter. I know you see somehow the world was meant for me.